Hello YouTube, uh, back again with a pickups video or collection video, whatever. Uh, it's been a while, <laughs> it seems forever since I last done one of these pickups videos. Um, but yeah, I've got a few bits and bobs to show you. I've got a couple PS2s. It's been ages since I've got some PS2s, like before Christmas. That's the last time I got a PlayStation 2 game, so uh, yeah, let's get started. Uh, first one I got from a charity shop, 150. Got this one, Turtles, uh, Mutant Melee, Melee, and that was uh, 150. Um, haven't played it yet, but uh, this is I've got one more Turtle game to get for the PS2. That's uh, the one that's called uh, TMNT, and uh, they made a movie movie of it years ago. So yeah, that's that one, Turtles. Uh, next, I got from CEX. Um, this one's okay. I, I gave it a spin just to see if it worked, just to test it. Um, I think I'll, I'll have to come back to this one and put a bit more effort into it. I got a bit lost playing. I didn't know what I had to do. And I played it for a little bit. And that's uh, Castlevania. Um, when I was looking, for, when I was picking this out from CEX, this was £6, by the way. Um, I did have the other one in my hand as well, Curse of Darkness, and that was £8. But I put that one back and I thought I'd try this one first. And if I like this one, I thought I'd, if it's still there the next time I go to see it, so I'll, I'll, I'll nab that one. So, yeah, out of the two Castlevanias, is this, is this the worst one or the better one? I don't know. Yeah, but definitely I'll have to go back to this one. And uh, next, I've got Sly Raccoon. And this cost, I think it was four pound, three or four pound. A bit of a busted up case. So it needs replacing. Um, I've, been, I've been trying to keep my eye out for these Sly Raccoon games for a while because these, 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 these are quite tricky to find, like in the wild or out and about. And on eBay, they, these command quite a high price, like maybe ten to twenty pound for the first one, anyway. So this uh, this is the better one. I played it for a little while just to see if it works. And it's a really good platform. This is. It's got a unique unique um, graphics. Like it's got that that cartoony comic strip like sort of look and it's a really really um solid solid game this is and they they should have a new, a new one coming out for the ps3 sometime this year so i might have to get that one when it comes out so yeah sly raccoon tricky one to find for the ps2 uh, and the last one i got from cex is the sequel i got sly 2 Band of Thieves, and that was four pound also, and uh, complete. Um, I haven't tried this one yet. I thought I, I want to complete the first one first before I go into this one. Um, but all I did was pop it in and see if it worked. Like I got to the title screen, and that's about it. So, so yeah, that's a good one. So all I need now is the third one, which is uh, quite pricey. And I've, I've never seen that one. Uh, in the wild, I've never seen it. So yeah, the last two pickups, the the last <laughs> games, um, I got on eBay. I picked up Psycho Fox. Um, I got this as a buy it now price. I paid like, I think like fifteen pound for this. Um, this one's I don't know if it's tricky to find, but I've been I've been looking for this one. Um, before Christmas, so I was trying to get hold of this one, and all I ever, when I was searching for it, all I ever found was either cartridge only, uh, or box, box and cart only, or they're always ma like mashed up boxes. <clears throat> and there's two types of boxes, uh, manuals: the the long way one and the hot and the vertical one. And uh, my one's complete. It's got um, it's got the catalog thing, and uh. My, I've got the ver the horizontal manual. I have seen them where it's the other way. I don't know if this is the correct one or not. But yeah, this is in nice condition. And it's a solid platformer for the Master System. So that's that one. And uh, sticking with the Super Nintendo trend, um, I'm still going strong for that. I've got a couple things on the way for that. I've got one coming from Germany, and I've just won a couple... Uh, Super Nintendo games on eBay today, and I'll show them when I get them. But this one, I'm pretty disappointed with it because it's fucking. 
it's a German version, but luckily it plays in English. You can switch over to the English language, but it's a the gameplay is a bit dodgy. I can do the I can do the first level, and after that it just it's just tricky. I don't know how to play it, and that is um, Tintin. Uh, Tim in Tibet. I, I I only noticed that when I first when I opened it in the post uh, the other day, and I noticed it didn't say Tintin because uh, on the Mega Drive version, you, 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 the common common copies that that you find is Tin Tintin AU Tibet, which is uh, French, but this is a German copy. And, uh, on the back, it's all in German text. But you can switch the gameplay to English, like I said, and I can only do the first level, which is like going along a train track, and it, the first level is pretty short. And once you get to the end of the first level, you're like swimming in mud, and then the next level, you're in some building, like some hotel sort of building. And after that, I'm, I'm just clueless. I don't know what to do. So yeah, it's one of those tricky, tricky games. So Tintin in Tibet, and I played over the odds for this one. I just uh, took a punt on it, so yeah, because there weren't any uh, other box complete copies on eBay at the time, so I went full clip on it and just got it. So yeah, that's all my pickups, people. I'm still, I'm still in the game. I'm still collecting. It seems ages. It seems like I don't put up a pick up videos as often as I used to, but um, but yeah, I'm still in it. I'm still doing it. I haven't given up. So uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to do some more gameplay videos right now. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.